So we're looking at chapter 10, number 12. And in this lottery game, a player picks six numbers from 1 to 48. How many different choices does a player have if order doesn't matter? So order doesn't matter is super important. I went in the textbook, page 358 in the printed book, or 362 if you're in the PDF. They talk about combinations, and these are uh, without replacement, where order is not important. So we can tell order doesn't matter, means order is not important. So we have that condition satisfied. Now it doesn't say anywhere in the original problem that there's no replacement, but the way lotteries work is you're pick, basically picking numbers out of uh, some container and there's only one of each number in the container so because of that lotteries are going to be without replacement and we're going to go ahead and use this formula here so we have n choices so how many numbers do we have 1 to 48 so we have 48 choices which is the letter n and the other letter, uh, size R. And so that's how many we're picking. And R, we're picking six numbers. So, so this is how many we're picking. And the way we write this is NCR. And for us, that'll be 48. Choose six is how you would say that. And we're going to go right down to this formula here. So we got our n factorial, which is 48 factorial divided by n minus r, 48 minus 6 factorial times r, which is 6 factorial. We can definitely do the subtraction, that's no problem. So we got 48 factorial divided by. 48 minus 6 is 42 factorial times 6 factorial. You can definitely go ahead in a calculator and type this in. I'm going to do a little bit of cancellation here because uh, we can do that pretty easily. So factorial means that you're multiplying uh, 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 44 times 43 times 42. And so I can write that out. So 48 factorial is 48 times 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42. And I'm going to stop here at 42. And I'm putting a factorial at the end of this. Because this means 42 factorial means times 42 times 41 times 40 times 39, etc. And I'm just going to copy over the bottom, 42 factorial times 6 factorial. And the reason we do this, I can now cancel this 42 factorial with that 42 factorial. So that would be one way to do it. You still got to type in this big product up here. So let's go ahead and look at how do we actually type these in. So I'm just using the regular calculator and the factorial, which is the exclamation point, or exclamation uh, sign. So we got over to calculator. So I had a 48 factorial. Just to warn you, these numbers get really big really quick. Uh, if I do four factorial, we'll start even smaller. Three factorial is six, because three times two times one is six. Four factorial is 24, because that's four times three times two times one. Five factorial gets a little bigger, 120. So we're gonna go way up to 48 factorial. Oh my goodness, that's a huge number. And if we did uh, 42 factorial, also a huge number, this E plus 51 means that there's, you have to move the decimal point to the right 51 times. So this is, these are massive numbers. And it's for this reason that uh, we went and simplified over here. So now I can do 48 times 47 times 46, 45, 44, 43. We'll do that product divided by six factorial. So let's go ahead and do that product. So it's 48 through 43. So 48 times 47 times 46 times 45 times 44 times 43. So that was the entire numerator. 
And now we're going to divide by, I'm going to use a parentheses, 6, and then press the factorial button, close parentheses. And it's a little bit tricky to see, but if you look right up here, you can see what I actually typed in. You see that big product, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43. That's, that's all one product divided by factorial of 6, which gives us 720. That's way more reasonable number. Unreasonable numbers can also be the answer sometimes, but uh, that's pro the previous version was probably too big for most people's calculators to actually handle. So that's why I did this reduction right here where we cancel out these two factorials.